So it's, he's much better at telling it, but Kirk was on vacation and he was on the island where they make Curacao. They were telling the story of how their liqueur came about. Spanish explorers brought oranges over so that they would have citrus for their ships that were coming over to America. And those oranges ended up not growing very well in Curacao. They were very bitter, so they stopped eating them, but they took over the whole island. Someone in the 1800s was walking along the island and stepping on all these old orange peels that were down on the bottom of the ground and said, I think I can do something with these. They realized when it was fermented that it made this really, really delicious product called Curacao. The true Curacao is only made on the island because it's the only place where these oranges exist. They've genetically changed and are a unique plant. So I was enthralled by the story, but also by the process of creating the liquor, the distillation process. He felt that we could do the same thing here in Louisiana. So when we were discussing what products we were going to do, it seemed absolutely natural for us to look at local products. And sweet potatoes are the third largest cash crop in the state of Louisiana. So we decided, why the hell not try to distill that? And it turns out it's a pretty good product. So this is what we're going to be turning into vodka. I mean, this starch is in this are really working out well for us. I wish I could buy more from you. <laughs> Local to me is very important. So for us, when we started this distillery, we really wanted to make sure that our ingredients and all the products that we were creating we're being sourced locally here in New Orleans, and if we couldn't get it in New Orleans, then in Louisiana, our home state. Louisiana sweet potatoes bring to the table uh, a little more sweetness than a regular potato does. When you're taking a sip of the vodka, it's going to have a really nice nose. And you're gonna to wanna to just take that in. It's gonna smell a little earthy because of the sweet potatoes. And then once it goes into your mouth, you're gonna feel that it's got a very powdery mouth feel. It's really nice, it's really soft and silky and smooth. And it's not gonna burn the way a lot of vodkas do. It's gonna be really easy to drink. That's good, I can taste the sweet potato. It's extremely smooth. Usually a lot of the vodkas are adding synthetic flavors and this can actually be good on its own. But this is so nice and there's no burn. It's not like other vodkas, yeah, it's lovely. The most rewarding thing is to see something that you've developed from the ground up become successful and actually come to fruition. that point where we're making product and getting ready to put the product on the shelves and I think the, the perfect time to bring out this product is right now.